there was this principle that no, if ubuyema kaya kubukwa and whatever, you are not as good as the rest of the ones who came from environments that were more like popular. And I felt I, I would have to make a statement on behalf of those guys who are more like obscured. And when I look at it now, I don't know how many years back, Daddy, it's still relevant. Could I go back and say that again? Yes, even with more clarity. Do I regret what I said? No, I do not. Yeah. Because the day, the minute you say something, my philosophy is one. I use two brains. Mm. I use two brains. The thinking brain and the brain that's monitoring the thinking brain. Sure. Now, when I think, as I'm talking to you now, I'm saying this, but at the back of my utterances, there's another guy monitoring what I say so that your thought processes must be clear, Steve. And after saying your thought processes must be clear, Steve, what then is the next line to guide the conversation so that the substance? And whilst I'm thinking around what I'm saying, there has to be something that says to me, wait a minute, Steve, as you're saying this, you, are you not offending Robert? You are not offending Robert. But okay, Robert oh, eh, eh, is excited, but, but what about the other person who's not a Robert? Very difficult to make utterances that are clear and not hurting anyone. There's no way. When you say something is blue, red might not be happy. Purple wouldn't be either. White would be frustrated. How dare you say blue and all the rest of the other colors are still comfortable and happy. But it is how you say the blue that you don't raise your voice, that you upset the rest of the other colors. You say blue so that white, red, pink and yellow can feel the magnitude of their presence bringing down the voice that says blue that blue is minimal mm. i'm superior yet you recognize blue and not the other ones around